On Tuesday, China announced new tariff waivers for some U.S. imports. The Fed said it will be starting its long-awaited corporate bond program, while the U.S. consumer prices in April dropped by the most since the Great Recession. The U.K. will continue paying wages to out-of-work employees until the end of October, and a key economic indicator in Japan fell at the fastest pace since 2011 in March. And the government warned of a deep recession as the coronavirus crisis takes a heavy toll on business activities and consumer spending. Welcome to Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be looking at the UK GDP and Australia's unemployment rate. Today, I'm looking at the pound yen pair, which broke below the daily Ichimoku cloud last week, completed its correction phase, and could get under further pressure after the UK GDP report on Wednesday. A medium term strategy could be shorting the pair at around 132 and taking profit at the 38% and 50% from Nashi tracement levels of 131 and 130 respectively. Now, do you think the pound yen pair is bounded for further drops? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.